The Korean War is sometimes called the Forgotten War because it was largely overshadowed by World War II and Vietnam. But just last week, three Wisconsin veterans took a trip to D.C. and still remember the conflict well 70 years later. Newswatch 12's Matt Weaver shares their story. Well, Dan and Jessica, last Monday I was on the Never Forgotten Honor Flight, and out of 98 veterans, only three were from the Korean War. I had the privilege of bringing them together at the end of the day. It's been a, probably a chance of a lifetime to, uh, to have this done for, for us. On the Never Forgotten Honor Flight, not only did 98 veterans get to spend the day together. I was wondering if the Korean vets were going to be uh, identified because practically everybody that I talked to was, was Vietnam. Three Korean veterans got to connect for the first time. It was so good to get together with these guys finally to, to meet them. And it was almost the end of the day here. So it's really great. One of the highlights of the day. It wasn't long before the intermilitary rivalry began. He was in the Air Force. And but when I was over in Korea, you can't hold that against the guy. There was no shooting going on yet. Herb Hager, Dwayne Schwiso, and Ronald Cleason had the chance to see the all-too-familiar Korean War Memorial, among others. It is kind of dreary. It is kind of morbid, but it's, it's authentic. I, that's not a criticism. It realistically creates the feeling that I think existed at that time. Another memorable stop, Arlington National Cemetery, where they were acknowledged by the guards. Shoes instead of... Uh, more or less scraped their sole of their heels on the on the as they walked. It was a form of saluting us. Their time around the monuments and memorials brought them back. They were good memories. I met a lot of great guys, you know, in the army, and uh, and you make it. You you have to make it good. It doesn't happen. You have to help make it happen. A fun little thing to mention, the pilot who flew them back was from Korea. He had a thank you that deeply resonated with these veterans in particular.